In 2024, China has emerged as a global leader in several sectors, leveraging its vast resources and strategic initiatives to surpass the U.S. in various industries. Contrary to mainstream media portrayals of China as a declining economy, in this video we deliver a comprehensive and real analysis of key sectors such as technology and research and development, electric vehicles and clean energy, transportation and others. We show you the areas where China has established global leadership and surpassed Western nations, including the United States. We aim to give you an accurate and impartial overview of China's current state. Let's start with technology and R&D sector. China's strategic focus on technology and R&D is geared towards becoming a global leader in high-tech industries, particularly in fields like artificial intelligence and semiconductors. Through substantial investments in R&D, China aims to achieve self-sufficiency in core technologies, with a significant portion of companies either already self-sufficient or expecting to become so within the next two years. This ambition is further supported by the development of world-class product development capabilities which are rapidly approaching or have already met global best-in-class standards. To encourage technology innovation, China has implemented a range of supportive tax and fee policies, including significant incentives for high and new technology enterprises HNTEs, and technology-based small and medium-sized enterprises TSMEs. These policies are designed to stimulate growth in key high-tech sectors, such as integrated circuits, artificial intelligence, and biopharmaceuticals. For example, eligible enterprises in Beijing can benefit from simplified procedures for HNTE status application, which promotes investment in R&D and encourages the development of innovative products and services. TSMEs enjoy benefits like super deduction on R&D expenses, which further underscores the government's commitment to fostering a vibrant high-tech ecosystem. The direction of China's R&D investment emphasizes the need for more integrated, agile, and digital R&D processes. A significant portion of companies is focusing on downstream activities, which include enhancing existing products, but there is a recognized need to allocate more resources to upstream activities, such as developing new technologies and addressing unmet customer needs. The agility and digitization of R&D are seen as critical areas for development in the coming years. Now let's look at China's dominance in electric vehicles and clean energy. Before we proceed we encourage you to consider liking the video to show your support for our channel. Additionally, we invite you to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Your feedback is invaluable and will help us reach a wider audience. Thank you for your support. China leads the global market in electric vehicles, EVs, and clean energy. Holding more than half of the world's electric cars and already surpassing its 2025 target for new energy vehicle NEV sales, China's commitment to this sector is evident through policies like the extension of its tax exemption policy for NEVs until 2027. Additionally, the country's remarkable installation of wind and solar power capacities and heavy investment in renewable energy projects position it as a pivotal player in the global clean energy transition. China continues to dominate the electric vehicle EV market, significantly contributing to the global growth in this sector. As the largest EV manufacturer, the country produced approximately 3.5 million units in 2021, demonstrating a substantial increase from the previous year. This production capacity not only satisfies domestic demand, but also supports a growing export market, with China being a leading country in electromobility according to the Electric Vehicle Index in 2021. The electric car market in China has shown impressive growth with the market share of electric vehicles, both battery electric vehicles and plug-in hybrids, increasing steadily each year. In terms of electric vehicle stock, China has a significant number, underlining its position as a leader in EV adoption. Furthermore, China's commitment to clean energy and EVs is also evident in the domain of battery production and the related demand for critical materials. In 2022, a considerable percentage of global lithium, cobalt, and nickel demand was attributed to EV batteries, with lithium demand outpacing supply despite a significant increase in production since 2017. Lithium iron phosphate LFP cathode chemistries, favored mainly by Chinese OEMs, have gained substantial market share. Around 95% of LFP batteries for electric light-duty vehicles went into vehicles produced in China, highlighting the country's pivotal role in shaping the battery market. It's also important to note that China is exploring alternatives to conventional lithium-ion batteries, like sodium-ion, Ni-ion batteries, 
which rely on less costly materials and do not require critical minerals such as lithium, making them a cheaper option. This innovation indicates China's proactive approach to addressing potential resource constraints and reducing dependency on critical minerals. As we've explored, China's technological advancement and commitment to clean energy paint a picture of a nation poised to dominate global industries. However, the country's influence extends well beyond these sectors. In this part of the video, we will delve into China's global influence, its future outlook, and how the rest of the world is responding. China's increasing global influence is undeniable. From its Belt and Road Initiative, which aims to build a global trade network centered around China, to its increasing involvement in international institutions such as BRICS, China is asserting itself as a global leader. This dominance is not limited to economic and technological sectors. China's influence in global geopolitics is also growing, as the country's diplomatic efforts extend to every corner of the globe. On the international stage, China's rise has been met with both admiration and anxiety. Countries around the world are grappling with how to respond to China's growing influence. Some, particularly in the developing world, view China as a model for growth and development. Others, particularly in the West, particularly the US, express concern about China's political model and its impact on international norms and institutions. Whether one views China's rise with optimism or concern, it is clear that the country will play a central role in shaping the 21st century. As we look to the future, it is essential to understand China's trajectory and the implications it holds for the rest of the world. Now, we will discuss China's global leadership in transportation. As we move from China's global influence and future outlook, it's time to steer our focus towards an integral part of the country's growth, the transportation sector. China has indeed made remarkable strides in high-speed rail, HSR, and shipbuilding, further reinforcing its global leadership in these areas. China's strategic approach to the development of the world's largest high-speed rail network is a testament to its forward-thinking mindset. As of the end of November 2023, China's railway network boasted over 155,500 kilometers of track, which included 43,700 kilometers of high-speed railways. This extensive network is not just a symbol of technological prowess, but also a catalyst for economic growth and regional development. Building on this impressive infrastructure, the Chinese government has plans to extend its high-speed network to a staggering 70,000 kilometers by 2035. This ambitious goal is driven by a focus on enhancing and connecting intercity networks within key economic regions of the country. The aim is to create a seamless, efficient, and sustainable transportation system that caters to the needs of its ever-growing population and economy. To illustrate this, let's take the example of the recently launched Hangzhou Nanchang High-Speed Railway. This new route is more than just a transportation project. It's designed to boost tourism and drive the development of other industries along the route, demonstrating how transportation can be a conduit for broader economic development. In conclusion, China's transportation sector, particularly its high-speed rail network, is a testament to its global leadership and strategic planning. As the country continues to innovate and expand its infrastructure, it sets a new benchmark for the rest of the world. Now let's look at the China's global leadership in green energy. As we transition from China's transportation sector, let's shift our focus to another aspect of the country's leadership, the green energy sector. China has made a global commitment to peak its carbon emissions by 2030 and achieve carbon neutrality by 2060. This ambitious pledge is backed by massive investments in renewable energy, particularly in solar and wind power. The country's commitment to a green economy is not only about reducing carbon emissions, but also about creating a sustainable future for its people and the world at large. China is the world's largest producer and consumer of solar panels. The country has installed more solar power capacity than any other nation, with a total installed capacity of over 250 gigawatts as of the end of 2020. This is roughly a third of the global total. In the wind power sector, China is also a global leader. The country has the largest onshore wind resources in the world, with a total installed capacity of over 236 gigawatts as of the end of 2020. However, transitioning to a green economy is not without its challenges. The shift from fossil fuels to renewable energy requires significant adjustments in the energy infrastructure, policy changes, and public acceptance. Despite these challenges, 
China is embracing the opportunities that come with the transition. The country is investing heavily in green technology, creating jobs and driving economic growth. As we conclude our analysis, it's clear that China's leadership extends across multiple sectors, from technology and R&D to transportation and green energy. This commitment to progress and innovation is setting the pace for the rest of the world. As we've seen, China's leadership is evident in technology, research and development, transportation and green energy. However, that's not the whole picture. China is also making significant strides in other sectors. Let's briefly touch upon some of these sectors where the nation's growth is remarkable. Firstly, with its aging population, China is investing heavily in elder care services. They are developing new facilities, training more caregivers, and implementing innovative care models. The aim is to ensure dignified and comfortable aging for its citizens while tackling the challenges of an aging population. Secondly, the childcare sector is also undergoing rapid transformation. The government is making efforts to make high-quality, affordable childcare accessible to all, a move expected to help bolster the country's declining birth rate and support working parents. In the realm of biopharmaceuticals, China is pushing the boundaries. The nation's researchers are at the forefront of developing new drugs and therapies, and their work is gaining international recognition. The fast-moving consumer goods FMCG sector is another area where China is making its mark. Chinese brands are gaining popularity both domestically and internationally, driven by innovation and an understanding of local consumer preferences. Finally, in the digital economy, China is a global powerhouse. The country is home to some of the world's largest tech companies and is a leader in areas such as e-commerce, digital payments and artificial intelligence. Government support and strategic planning in these areas are poised to address demographic shifts, align with international standards, and meet the growing domestic market demand. In conclusion, China's influence is not limited to just a few sectors. It's a broad-based leadership that spans multiple sectors and continues to grow. That's all for now. Hope you find this analysis fair and informative. Thank you for watching.